from the Imagination Station. Sarah Neff is here with another egg, 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 egg experiment. <laughs> yes. With lots of eggs. Lots That's of eggs. That's what we're going with today. All right, what do we have here? We're going right. to do uh, what could be the impossible, right? Right. So a lot of times scientists are given a problem and they need to come up with a solution. So our problem today is that we have this egg and we want to put it inside this jar. Okay. Now, now normally thinking they just smash it right in there, but right. we don't want to do that. Right. That would be the easy route. Okay. And we want to make it more elegant. Okay. We want to make it look nicer. So we are going to use a little trick today. And I've actually got two birthday candles. I'm going to shove these into the large end of a hard boiled egg. Okay. So I'm going to light my candles. and. These are going to be our heat source for this experiment, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna hold my bottle straight above the eggs, and I'm gonna allow the heat that's coming off of our candles there to kind of warm the air that's inside our jar. So as that warm air, or as that air warms, actually, it's expanding, mm -hmm. all right? And so then, it's kind of like a hot air balloon at this yeah, point, right? So you're, you're filling the jar with heat so right. the air becomes less dense. Right. And then eventually what I can do is I can actually delicately push the egg toward the bottom of our jar. Okay. We're going to create a seal using the egg. And now if you watch very, very closely, you can see that um, it's starting to actually draw the egg inside sure the jar. Sure is, isn't it? That's because the warm air that's up here is starting to cool down now that our flame is out. Okay. So we've got a low pressure system inside our jar. There we go. <laughs> we've got a high pressure system in here. And so air pressure actually forces it. And right the egg in popped in. May yeah. I give it a try? Of course. All right. So go ahead and get your candles ready. And we actually broke our egg a little bit, but that's okay. okay. Right? That's part of science. So I'm going to heat up the air. Now okay. part of this though is that we're going to get the egg into the bottle. Right. But not only are we going to get the egg into the bottle, we need to get it back out of the bottle, correct? Right. Okay. Now, I already took a little chunk off mine, but as you can see, it's still not going to slide out too easy. So we're going to have to think of a way to get them back out. No. Do you have any ideas? Um, I have a few. Okay. Do you have an excellent idea? An, an excellent. <laughs> we're going to see how many egg jokes we can get in, in in a few minutes here. All right. I think I'm ready. Here. I think you're ready too. So go ahead and put your egg right up there to the seal. Okay. Now, if you watch closely, you can see that air pressure is actually forcing our egg right up inside the jar. See, if this was slowly, an egg slowly. stream race, I would have beat you. You because think so? Because mine went in a little faster, yeah, I think. Yeah, you're right. All right. So Yours looked a little nicer, too. We're in, and I only lost a little bit of a chunk there. Fantastic. Need a little breakfast for somebody. Okay. We need to get them back out, though. We do. So go ahead and flip your bottle over. Now what we're going to do is pick up um, a beaker of water, and I'm going to add one whole beaker into my jar. All right. So I'll see if I can get mine out first, and then we'll have okay. you do it, okay? So our secret ingredient for extracting, extracting the egg is Alka-Seltzer, okay? So what happens when we put Alka-Seltzer into water? It releases carbon dioxide. Right, so what's happening, we've got some bubbling action and carbon dioxide gas is being released, so it's actually filling up our jar. Now, the trick here is that when I invert my bottle, I want to use the egg to kind of form a plug, but keep the Alka-Seltzer in the jar. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna try here in a swift motion. All right. Now you can see my tablet's still in there, so it's still fizzing away, creating all that carbon dioxide gas. And if we watch closely, you can see our egg on its way up. Very cool. So we use the pressure from the carbon dioxide gas to actually. So force maybe the another egg out. example of this too is you're kind of shaking up a pot bottle here. You know, yeah, with the carbon of. dioxide that's yeah. in the pot bottle too. So I'll let mine get a little fizzy. Yeah, we'll let that bubble for a few minutes, create all that good gas because we want a lot of pressure to be able to force the egg out. All right. It actually looks pretty good still. Now you were able to do this one. Hopefully I don't mess it up. Okay. Invert it now. Over yep, the and we want to make sure that the egg is kind of forming a seal. All right. Oh, you did it. That didn't that happen. Excellent. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Carbon dioxide releasing, building yep, up. Yep. We still got our tablet in there. And this is just one of the experiments that you'll see during Extreme Science, All which right. is starting this weekend. That's what you guys are going to be starting this yeah. weekend at the Imagination Station. This isn't kind of a one-time deal. You guys are going to be doing this for a little while, aren't right. you? Right. All the way through April 7th. So you'll see egg in a bottle. You might see us testing the durabil durability of an eggshell. We might be walking on eggs. We might be making naked eggs. All kinds of crazy stuff happening. Well, I look forward to that. And look forward to seeing you guys again coming up here Great. soon, too, with more of the egg stream science. Sarah, thank you so much. Appreciate thank you. that. All right, the weekend is nearly here, and it's going to warm up maybe just a little bit for you. I'll tell you more in my certified